This first image we're looking at is from the European Space Agency. It's called Ophir Chasm. In the bottom right hand corner you will notice that there's a ridge there with a pipe that runs directly along the ridge and makes a right angle turn. Next to it is a large wall and then just to the left of that you'll see a wavering dark figure and some other pipes. Uh, further on down you'll notice that there's a, um, a spherical sort of building. But the thing that caught my attention immediately about this was between the two peaks you'll notice that there's a flying saucer. It's up in the air flying above the ground. You can see that there's no contact with the ground and it's reflecting the sun off its top. If you look back further you'll notice there's a road going up over this ridge to the left of the peak and just below at the bottom of the peak you'll notice there's a suspended bridge or aqueduct or something that has columns supporting it. Something I noticed when viewing these photographs from the European Space Agency is this G. Newcomb um, tends to uh, hide little details here and there in his photographs, his editing. As you can see this whole area has been smudged out around but at the far right hand side of the crater up there in the northeastern section you can see a high rise building that was purposefully not smudged and um, this is typical of what you'll see with this man's work on this on the European Space Agency photos look for his name and often there will be artifacts closely associated with it here we have another image where we can obviously see that there are very unnatural structures if you look at the middle you'll see two large buildings crossing each other just in front of that is a very large building and if you just look in the area you'll see buildings are basically all throughout this canyon they can be found on both sides of the canyon and uh, circular clearings none of this can be by any accident if you look at the far left hand corner um, you'll see that there's a carved out square with some buildings sitting in it absolutely unnatural this cannot be an artifact of nature this was actually the first image that I noticed some artificial structures when I was looking at this what appears to be some sort of rock wall in the very middle of it you'll notice there's a large box and it's square on all sides so that is absolutely not a natural formation if you notice up in the upper right hand corner there's a hill and there are two spherical objects on that as well so you will see if you blow this image up that there are spheres up and down that ridge both before it and behind it. This is a blow up of the very first image I'm showing in this presentation and you can see to the left hand border that the flying saucer is definitely up above the canyon way up in the sunlight way above everything else. If you look down to the very center of the peak you'll notice there are two cleared out areas. They turn out to be hexagons that have been artificially carved into the terrain. Uh, you'll notice also there are several objects in each one of them. If you go back to the, the saucer and look in the area just to the right of it, you blow that up, you'll notice there are a lot of pipes there. And this is a much clearer image. If you look to the back, you'll notice the bridge behind the peak just to the left and the roads and then many other roads and formations and structures just behind that. Here's another example of Mr. Newcomb and um, him showing us something with his name. Uh, he's written right over the top of some sort of group of buildings with a pipe, a supported pipe coming in from just below the names at the far left corner. This is an image taken from the upper left hand corner of the Heads Chasm. And as you can notice very clearly here, just off the center to the right, there's a huge cylinder with a spherical building and some sort of large dark opening. This next image is part of the last image, and as you can see, the cylinder is down, now down in the far right hand corner. In the upper left hand corner you'll see there are two extremely large cylinders 
something on the, s the order of several miles long each. This next image also encapsulates the le past two images and shows all the various cylinders and many pipe-like looking objects and roadways and what have you. But you can see very clearly that there's this massive green smudge coming over this area. So something has definitely been unnaturally smudged out to the right. This image just reminded me of Machu Picchu. If you l blow it up really closely, you'll see that there's just terraces everywhere and buildings everywhere and what looks like fields and doesn't look anything like something that would be natural. If you blow up this area, you'll notice that along this ridge to the left that comes into the center of the picture, there's a, some sort of building or something there. It's been smudged out. You'll see it's been smudged purposefully if you blow the picture up. And you'll also know that there are many other structures along the very same top of the ridge. This last image demonstrates um, that none of these what appear to be craters from a distance are in fact craters. There are actually a lot of engineered structures. You can see columns and buildings all around them.